talk show and look where we got you. We're here in Tuskegee, at Tuskegee College. They call it Tuskegee Institute. That's Booker T. Washington. Now I want you to understand that that is a slave. He's pulling the veil of ignorance off of him. And this slave, as you can see, is sitting on a plow. There's a plow. But he has that book. He has that education. He's pulling back the veil of ignorance. And let me go down and tell you what he, what he said. Booger T. Washington, 1856 to 1915. And I want you all to see this. He lifted the veil of ignorance from his people and turned the way to progress through education and industry. And I got to show you who Jazz is traveling with today. Look at that young man. Y'all know the little you around for that. What's your name, young man? My name is John Scott. John Scott, all the way from P.A. Pritchett, Alabama. <laughs> Let me show you who else I got here with me. Y'all know that familiar face there? What's your name there, young man? Holy Young Willow, better known as Brother Nap. Brother Nap, y'all seen him on the show, and we got another young man here. What's your name now, Ray? Bishop R.A. Weatherspoon. All right, we got him. And Rose, go over there, Rose. Get in the middle. Come on, walk on over there, Rose. Let me show y'all, Rose. This is our tour guide here. <laughs> What's your name, sis? I'm Rose Riley, and welcome to Montgomery. Uh, Mon Tuskegee. Tuskegee, yeah, because she lives in Montgomery, but we're in yeah. Tuskegee. Yeah. All right, we're going to do a little tour. My viewers have already seen this, Rose, okay. but I'm going to, we're going to, I wanted them to see the house, uh, Booker T. Washington house, and we're going to get, we're going to see what they say after they go. I may show you his grade, because I like to do repeat myself, but we may show you his grade. Jazz are red. Tell them peace out. Peace out. All right, in Tuskegee, Alex. Jazz and Red Talk Show, we're at the Oaks, the home of Booger T. Washington. My viewers have seen this, already seen it, but I'm just going to show you the front of the house. We're not going to go in. Now, we're going to we're gonna talk with them, the people that I brought up here, Reverend Witherspoon, John Scott, Brother Knapp, and, and my friend from, uh, what's your name, girl? What's your name? Oh, Rose Riley. Rose Riley. When they come out, we're going to let you tell them. Jazz and Red Talk Show. And uh, what's your name, sis? My name is Christine Gilmore. How y'all doing out there? Girl, I just met this sister, and I just gave her a hug like we've been knowing each other. Tell That's them what right. you do. That's tell right. them what you do. Well, I am a teacher at Old Fields Boarding School. We're a small boarding school of about... Um, 180 students in Maryland, and we're doing a civil rights tour. So today we're honored to be here at the Booker T. Washington home yes. tour, and we're really excited about it. Oh, you are excited, girl, when you see how this man lives. I mean, oh my grace, I've been here before, but I just love it. I'm excited every time I come, and the kids are going to just love it. They're going to love I'm it. Excited. I'm yeah, excited. Thank, thank you for letting me interview you. Um, do y'all have a YouTube or something? Uh, give, give my viewers a phone number or something in case they might want to help with the boarding school. Oh, that would you, be great. Okay, give me a phone number. My number is 410-472-4800. Uh, and let me call some of my girls. Yeah, because they look like they were running from the camera. And I'm, I'm going to be showing the house while we get the girls. This is, uh, we're at Booger T. Washington home. Look at here, look how it looks. For my new viewers, y'all hadn't seen it. But we're going to interview some of the girls that stay at the home here. All right, These, you, let me tell you something. Do you know when I was in school, young people, I had a hole in my shoes. My stepfather would put cardboard in the bottom of my shoes. A lot of times, the underdog is the one that come up. Do you understand? That's right. All right now. That's and this right. sister standing before you on four business. I'm, I'm, I mean, you can do it. You let no one tell you you can't. Okay? Right. Now, what's your name? Me. Yeah. Rukia. Huh? Rukia. Okay, and what's yours? Cabria. Taria. Cabria. Cabria. Oh, that's odd. And and you take time out with these babies. Yeah. Did you give She's them your name? You told them your name. Yeah, I'm okay. Christine Gilmore from Oldfields. This is Rakia Mansuri. She's a senior. Okay. She's getting ready to go off to college, and this is one of our younger ones. She's in the eighth grade. In the eighth grade. Maria Perry. Oh, and you're gonna go to college, yeah. and you're gonna finish. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm going to get her number. We're going to keep up with you. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. You understand? And we're going to go in and have the tour. But when I come out, we'll get the after effects, and they'll tell you what, it, what they what, what they see <laughs> and how it felt. Jazz Red. Right. Peace out. We love One thing that y'all didn't see when I was here, look, 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 look at them. Look at, look at them. Look at them. They like kids, man. <laughs> look at Reverend Wilson's food. 
Look at Brother Nap. They just looking. Oh, uh, your horse carriage and stuff would be parked right here. Jay has a hole in this camera, so y'all bear with me. We at Booger T. Washington home in Tuskegee on Tuskegee campus, and it is just a true blessing. You know, my viewers, y'all seen all the inside of the house. But I just wanted to show you the outside. This is a beautiful Jezzeret. We love it. I want to show you what this is, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wheelchair ramp, okay? So handicapped and handicapped kids, the babies that are in the wheelchairs, they can come and they can be able to see this house, okay? Oh, I love you. We finna go in with you to a Jezzeret pizza. I go out of my way to get footage for you all. I know you, you're just gonna enjoy this show. Like I said, I can't show all the house. We've done that before. you miss it if you didn't see it. Come here and see this house. Come here and see how big it is. Jezzeret pizza. We're on the other side of the house because we didn't see the back side of it. It is just worth it. Already, you guys, well, hey, hey, already you guys impressed, right? You wait till we go into the tour. You wait till we go into the tour. But my viewers seen every room in here and they let me do this man I just I'm so blessed to meet that young man Jazz Red we'll see how these two men and the I'm effect that they're gonna have huh I'm loving it already. already this the blueprint yeah. I want to build yeah. my home all right that's how your house gonna look yeah. that's how y'all when I when yeah. I come out of Hollywood that's how man gonna yeah. look just like this just like this Beautiful. look how big this right. is four levels four levels in the 1900s four, four levels and they have a basement my god my God. The top part gonna be the upper room. Oh, he already, let me get off of this camera and go on the inside. Jazz is the top show. Upon coming out of this house, uh, what's your name, ma'am? Johnny Chisholm. What's your name? Wally Chisholm. Now tell them who your kinfolk is. Mm -hmm. My distant cousin is uh, Shirley. Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm was a lady. That came from her because of the spelling of our name. The spelling of your name. And where I, my family, my father came from South Carolina. Yeah, now, now, now for my viewers, in case the young people, Shirley Chisholm was the first black woman to run for president. I don't remember the year. I don't remember the year. Huh? It was in the late 60s. The, she was, it was, yeah, between 65 and 66. Okay, but she ran for president. So see that, ladies and gentlemen, see that. I met her at Spelman College. I met her at Spelman. You met her at Spelman. At Spelman College. Yes, yeah, she was doing a uh, dissertation there. My God, y'all see, Jazz Red gonna always meet somebody. You done touch history today. <laughs> now tell tell my viewers where you live. We live in Atlanta. In Atlanta. Yes. God, we gotta stay close, cause I gotta come to Atlanta. I wanna see Martin Luther King grave. They say it's there. Yeah, I haven't been there, where and I've got to come. Then? Mobile, Alabama. Oh, and Jazz okay. Red gonna talk with these people and tell them God bless you. God bless oh, you all. Have a great day. And thank you so much and thank for you. your time. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show. Reverend Witherspoon. Did you like it? Enjoyed it. All right. You got something out of that? Yes. All right. What about you, young man? Man, I learned a lot, man. It's a beautiful house, man. You had to come see it for yourself. I enjoyed it. Man, you'll like it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. All right. And then, man, running from the back, what did you like it, Rose? It was. Um, Bro, live in Mo M Montgomery and Haddon Kane. Awesome experience. Awesome experience. Okay, yeah. the man that been running around the back of the house. Yeah, it's me, brother Nap. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull it back. Come, come in close, y'all. Come in close. Come in close. Come in close. Cause I'm gonna get in the front, and 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 y'all gotta know that Jazz is red. It's here, and I had to bring them. I had to bring them. <laughs> 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 Jazz and Red Talk Show, we're here in Tuskegee, and we're at Motor Field, baby, Municipal Airport, home of the Tuskegee Airmen, and I'm, I'm zooming in to them. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. Jazz is going to take you somewhere. Come back, I'm going to have a picture of my buddies in front of the sand. Jazz and Red Talk Show, are y'all enjoying this trip? Yeah. We let you know I'm here. I'm going to go get the Jazz Red Talk Show, and I want to tell you something. Y'all see this lady here? They drove this car. Where you drove it from? Prattville, Alabama. Prattville? Prattville, Alabama. And they drove this car. You and your husband? Yeah. They drove this car. Isn't that something? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that nice? Hey. Hey. God is just so good. Uh-huh, he gonna be on TV. You better get out the way. Uh-huh. And we done got, look at this car. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? 
We're going to talk with the owner, Jazz Red. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show. Now, did y'all buy this car original? No. Okay. We bought it and had it redone. Had it redone. Okay. What year is it? 1930. 1930. Now, Jazz is going to be like Bonnie and Clyde. I'm going to sit in there and y'all going to see me sit in the driver's seat there. Jazz Red. Peace out. Yeah, I can see you clearly. It's punch. Okay, you got it? It's a recording? Yes, it is. Give it the gas. <laughs> Give it the gas. <laughs> okay, you flooding it. You flooding it. <laughs> Am I really? Y'all see me trying to crank the car. Dad don't know how to crank it, but... But you know something? This is the life, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, y'all need it. If you're not here, you missed it. We're at uh, Motor Field. Look, Tuskegee Airmen, and uh, I love this car. I love this car, man. It's just so nice. It's going to make me buy one. <laughs> Jazz Red going to get her a car. What year is this again? 1930. 1930. Born and Claire, Jazz Red, peace out. <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show, this is a business woman. Tell me what kind of business you are. Sewing and alteration. Sewing and alteration. Where is it located? Downtown Prattville. Okay. Can we get a phone number? 365. 4149. And y'all gonna give her a call because I know Jazz and lost a little weight and need to lose some more. I but I can get them to alterate. Tell them to just come down there. Yeah, they 161 just. 161 West Main. Okay, 161 West Main. All right, Jazz Red Talk Show on this blessed lady. Peace out. Tell them peace out. Huh? Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show, we got some important dignitary. What's your name, ma'am? Sue Brown Stewart. Okay, what do you do, Sue Brown? I'm just a retired um, housewife now. My husband retired in the Navy, and we're just enjoying okay, ourselves. Okay, just enjoying yourself. He's 80 and you, years old. Did you, he's 80 years old? Yeah, last month. You day. grew up here? Yes. And right down the street when this was full bloom. Was in full, full bloom? My sister's come to dances out here. She worked at the uh, laundry on the campus. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. I had a spring, and the people in the parachute would drop down right over my head, get hung up in the parachute. Oh, you kidding? It was wonderful, yes. It was, it was wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. Did you did you get a chance to meet any of the lady mechanics? Not really. Okay. I'm supposed to have an interview with one, so I'm going to see if I can get her. Yes. I want to thank you for letting me interview you. Yeah. God bless you, and enjoy your retirement. So All right, God yeah. bless you. All right, they got one here that said, do not touch. Yeah. And he putting a hand on here. Want to get your hand out of that car. Okay. That car said, Do not touch. Isn't this nice, ladies and gentlemen? Look at him. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice, ladies and gentlemen? Jazz Red is just enjoying herself. Jazz Red, peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show. What's your name there, young man? I'm Jim Flynn. Okay, Jim Flynn. Where are you from? I'm originally from Kentucky. Okay. And two years ago, we moved to Alabama, and I live in Prattville right now. You live in Prattville. Now, uh, tell us a little something about your car. What year is this? It's a 1929 Ford Model A. Yeah, a 1929. Yes, look how clean he got that thing. Well, that's the first car I ever owned. Go look at him looking at it. Look at and he don't he he letting folks touch you. The other one said don't put your hand on it, but you letting them look. That's the first car you ever owned. Yes, Wait a minute, that. you mean this is original car? Yes, ma'am. I bought that car. In 1963 for $50. No, you didn't. I was 14 years old. Oh, you bought your own car. And uh, my father might be selling. He got mad at me for buying it. Yeah. And a school teacher there in, in our hometown bought it. Uh huh. And he's the one that restored it and fixed it up. And I bought it back from him in 1979. No, you didn't. Yeah. But, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, isn't that a nice story? This your first baby. That's my first And you baby. got it, and you she fixed it up, and you bought it back. I bought it back. You bought it back. That means it's some sentimental value on this car. Oh, yeah. It's some sentimental. I want to I wanna thank you for letting me interview you. Okay. And, and it's just so nice. I got to come over there and get a little hug there. It is so nice. Oh, it is so nice meeting him. I, I hope y'all enjoyed that interview while you're uh, interviewing. Okay. I belong to the Central Alabama Model A Ford Club. And in October this year, we're touring Mobile. Oh, you coming we'll in Mobile? Come down, you're going to get a call and you're going to call. Uh, and I'm going to come film you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Y'all coming to Mobile? When you coming to Mobile? It's in October. In October. I'm not sure the exact date. But okay, but you're going to call me. You're going to put your okay. card up and you're going to call me. Jazz Red, we love you. Three or four days. Thank Peace you out. very much. Uh, Jazz Red Talk Show, and we're here with some bikers. We've got a little bit of everything in Tuskegee today. What's your name there, young man? My name is Mike McAllister. Okay. Uh, Big Mac. Okay. What's the name of uh, your motorcycle game? What's the name? Tuskegee Hammond Motorcycle. 
Tuskegee Air Men Motorcycle Club. Look at him. Now, I'm going to show you his bike, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all got to see this now. You know, these men take pride in their bikes. Look at him. Look at him. Tuskegee Air Men bike. Ain't this something? I might have said it wrong, but I'm just excited. Uh, and that's a Harley day. Yeah. Only thing I can ride, ladies and gentlemen, is a spider. I'm old. I ain't finna get on where I got to hold nothing up. Uh, how long are you all going to stay here? Are you riding back? We're riding back, getting ready to leave out in a few minutes. In a few minutes. All right. Uh, I gave you all a card. Y'all give me a card. I'll get you a copy of this. Okay? Okay. All right. Jazz and Red. Peace out. Jazz and Red Talk Show. This is Boys. 1979 El Camino. And I'm telling you, this car is so clean, you can eat off the inside of it. I'm looking at it, and I'm going to show you, but I want to show you some of the awards that that car has got. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. We're going to show you up under the hood, Jazz Red Pizza. Would you believe this is under the hood of a car? I don't know if there's no dust on there. Get me a mayonnaise sandwich or something. I can eat on this car. Just look how clean it is. Look how clean it is. I mean, and this is a person that has taken pride in their car. Anytime you got a chrome. Look, you see what I'm saying? I don't even know what that is. That's a radiator, okay? But it's a chrome top on it. That means that these, these people have put a lot of money into their cars. Look at that, chrome out, chrome out. This is just a true blessing. Come up here and meet these young men. Now, we're going to show this car a little bit. Look at here. Oh, my viewers know they want to do something like this. I know you want this car. Y'all want to do something like this, but I think it's a lot of time and effort. We're going to talk with the owner, Jazz Red Pizza. Jazz Red Talk Show, tell me a little something about your car. Well, I'm a 19 El Camino. Uh, 19 what? 19, uh, this is Chevy El Camino. Okay. Uh, How long it take you to get it to this? Well, actually, I've been building this car for the last uh, 20 years. Okay. Yeah, it didn't come overnight. Uh, oh, I understand. Add something to it, little by little. Little by little. Yes. And this is the finished product, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. You can eat. You can eat under that hood. I don't know if you got dust under there. It looks like you just bought all that stuff and put it under there. No. It is so pretty. See, young people, what you can do. Hard work and determination. Nothing is done overnight. Now, give me your name and where you from. My name is Arthur Boyd. I'm from Tuskegee, Alabama. Tuskegee, Alabama. All right. All right. I, I want to thank you for letting me interview you and to show your car here. You're welcome. God bless you. Peace out. Jazz and Red Talk Show, and we're in front of another Cami uh, Cami El Camino. Is that what they call them? El Camino? No. Uh, what is this? What is this? It's a Nova. Oh, this is a Nova. Okay, Jazz, I don't know a lot about cars, but uh, <laughs> I drive an 82 Chevy with a diamond in the back. That's the only thing I know. All right, and I got it. What's your name, sister? My name is Yvette Mary. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Shorter. Okay. Now, what's your name? My name is Samaria Mary. And where are you from? Shorter. Okay, all right. And little mama, where are you from? My name is Shiny Mary. Oh. Shorter. All right, and she got her cool ray shades on, and we got the little brother over here. What's your name? My name's Joshua Beard. Okay, we got to show you this beautiful car, ladies and gentlemen. And the name of that car is Shakedown. And we finna show you what he's working with. Peace yeah, out. Mr. I want you to look under the hood. Look at him. Only in America would somebody spend all this money in a car like this, man. I mean, this is your baby, right? You love this car. Now, look what he got now. Look at that carburetor. I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks real big. I'm pretty sure you men know what that is. And that ain't a four barrel, right? It is a four barrel. It is a four barrel. Okay, Jazz, I know a little something. Now, where are all these nail heads? You had all this stuff put on this car. This. Was it looking like this when you picked it up? No, it was not. Okay, that's the owner there. There he is, lady. It's been modified. It's been modified. Mm -hmm. And you've done a great job. How long did it take you? Uh, Roughly three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that wasn't very long. That's good. Uh, it'll take me 20 years. All right, tell them your name again. My name is Johnny Williams. And, and where are you from? Short Island. Thank you for letting me interview you and show you a beautiful car. More than welcome. All right, God bless you. Thank you. Now, this is the is this a race car. It is. It's a race car, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. And, and there goes the helmet over there. Ooh, I'm scared. I don't know that lady that it's was all racing computer years ago. Operated. It's computer operated. You got to be kid. You hook the laptop up to those lines over there. Uh-huh. And it, it tells the car what to do. 
Only you hook you your laptop up and it tells the car what to do. It tells the car what to do. You, you just try to uh, drive safe, you know what I mean? I try okay. to do that. Try and do that because he'll he race him. Try and drive safe. Jazz Red on this blessed car. Peace out. And look where we at. Tuskegee Air Me and Motor Field. Jazzy showing you an airplane. And look at the people lined up to get it. Ain't that nice? Jazzy Red. Jazzy Red Talk Show, and we found us an artist out here. What's your name, young man? My name is Sylvester Collins. Tell my viewers what you do. I'm a gospel recording artist. I'm a choir director at Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church in Tuskegee, Alabama. Tuskegee. And I love singing for the Lord and lifting up his holy name. All right, you know what? You're going to have to give me a call. I'm going to come to your church and put you on my show. That's a hallelujah. Amen. All right, can you give out your phone number in case they want your CD? Of course, that's 334 306 0176. I have a new single out in title, Death Angel. Very Death special Angel. presentation. Very powerful message. Now. All right, this you is can call that number. Would you receive a call? Jazz Red, peace. So, for my sick and my shut in that have never been in a plane, because Jazz ain't been in one, I just want you to see this. We're going to show you this airplane. And we're going to go on in the inside and show you what the inside look like. Jazz and Red, peace out. Jazz and Red talk show, and we inside of it, baby. We inside the airplane. Look at him. Ain't this nice? This is so nice, man. Look inside that plane. Oh, my gracious. And we're going to talk to some guys that are sitting outside. You know, Jazz is finna fly this bad boy. Y'all don't see Jazz fly a plane. Now, y'all know I can't fly no plane. Jazz Red, peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, this is our pilot here. What's going on, young man? Hey, well, how you doing? How man? you liking this? How you liking man, it? I love it, man. It's beautiful out here. Ain't it beautiful out here? Oh, man, look, 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 man. Now, you know, you got to put your... Uh, your parachute on so you can jump out, okay? Oh, yeah. All right, he gonna, he gonna put his parachute on, make it jump out. This is so <laughs> nice. All of the planes are open for, how you liking, young man? Oh, man, it's beautiful, oh, beautiful. Man. You know. I just thought you would enjoy this oh, trip. Yeah. I wanted we have to take you with a lot of airplanes out here, you know. Yeah, we do. A lot of, you know. And know what? Of... They say they are letting folk go in, and we finna go see if we can get in an airplane. I'm gonna get in an airplane. Jazz Red, peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show, we got important dignitary. Tell us a little something about the plane and the and the kid and the, the little young guys that fly. Well, they're from China and they're working for Chinese airlines. Uh huh. And they come to the United States to get their uh, pilot's licenses, and they get all their licenses over here. And then before they go back to China, they get the pilot's king here, which is a turboprop. They they're gonna get a chance to fly. Oh yeah, they've already flown today. And, they uh, flew they flew around today. Yeah, we flew three hours this morning. Oh we're, no. We're gonna fly another three hours this afternoon. Yeah. Well, when we come back, we're going to have these two young men on Jazz and Red. Peace out. Jazz and Red talk show, and look at we got. We got the pilots here. Y'all going to catch, whenever you're going to catch a flight to China, you're going to see these faces. Now, this is going to be very familiar. What's your name, young man? You can call me Liu. Okay, Liu. Yeah. What's yours? You can call me Tony. Okay, what made you want to fly, Tony? What? What make you want to fly? Uh, actually, flying was my little, uh, was my dream uh, at a little young. Hey, when, when you were young, kids. a little boy. What about you, young man? Yeah, the pilot is a nice career, and I enjoy my flight, so I want to be a pilot. And, uh, you know, the young man wear the handsome uniforms, look good. Okay, okay, yeah. so you all are going to do it, and I know you're going to fly, and y'all going to remember Jazz and Rick. I'm going to try to get on a plane. I want to take a flight. I want to get me a ride. <laughs> Tell them God bless you. God bless you. All right, Jazz and Rick Talk Show. Did I get your name? Give them your name in the middle. Jim Lewis. Jim what? Lewis. Jim Lewis there. Jazz and Rick Talk Show. Jazz and Rick Talk Show. This young man said, Red, I got something for you. Short Tales by a tall pilot, and he's an author. You know, look at that, man. What else, uh, what else, what is it that you don't do? <laughs> Rob, steal, and kill, probably. This man is an author. Isn't this something? Can you tell them, and I'm getting close to Cousin of the North, where to get your book from? Where can they order your book? Well, they can order my book from Amazon. Okay. On the internet. On Amazon, the name of it is Short Tales by a Tall Pilot. Y'all gonna go and get that book now. Uh, give him that phone number again, Arthur. Uh, 352. Uh huh. 255-1597. And I'm coming on the side of it. We can send you a book. All right, and I'm gonna make sure this number's going across the screen. Okay. Wait, Rib, I don't know if I can get all of us in there. <laughs> we, we gotta get this book. Yeah, see if you see us. We gotta get this book, ladies and gentlemen. You understand? I'm running a number across the screen. Y'all gotta get it from Amazon. Thank you. Number.
personal. Yeah, that's your personal number. I'm, we got to write it down. I'm a... I look who out here looking like they're going to take a flight. Man, you ain't finna get that flight. Don't eat your, don't eat your hat piece. What when we're back and they cut the music down. Let's get the name again. This is the mayor. What's your name? Johnny Ford, mayor of historic Tuskegee, Alabama, and Brother Mason. Uh, Brother Mason, all right, uh, you are a Tuskegee Airman? Yes. One of the Tuskegee Airmen. Look at what we got, ladies and gentlemen. You want to say something, Mayor? Well, let me again welcome everyone to the 46th annual Tuskegee Airmen Weekend, which features NAI, the Negro Airmen International. They've been holding this fly in for 46 years. Okay. This is the longest and the most historic fly in that brings together black pilots from all over the world. Not only black pilots, but pilots of all races, colors, and breeds who love aviation. They come here to participate in this historic place. It's held at Motonville because this is the nest. This is the place where the Tuskegee Airmen got their start. This, is, this place is called the cradle of black military aviation. And I'm happy to welcome all of you on behalf of our city council and the utilities board and all of the people of Tuskegee. Welcome. All right. What you got to say, Mr. Tuskegee Airmen? Well, OK, this is homecoming for me. And usually we make it down on the whole day flying uh, every year. I've made a few years, but I've made quite a few, too. So I am just pleased to be home and uh, to be welcome to the Tuskegee Airmen. It's a great honor for me. It is. And it it's just a pleasure meeting you. It is such a pleasure meeting you. I'm, I'm just touching history, and I'm going to try not to cry, OK? Because uh, I just, uh, well, I'm always into history. I read a lot. You all done so much. Y'all done so much. And uh, I just want to tell you we appreciate you, OK? All right, and we appreciate you, Mayor. Uh, tell my viewers God bless you. God bless you, viewers, all right. and particular to Mayor Sam Jones. Sam Jones. That's right. We got to get him back in. You better know. All right. All right, Jazz Red Talk Show, peace out. Peace all right, out. all right. Okay, it's recording. Jazz Red Talk Show with this handsome man here. I don't ever get on my show. Y'all know I don't be on my show. It's about Jesus and other people. But uh, I just wanted, I appreciate you. Well, thank you. All right, and you too, Mayor. Thank you, thank you, Jazzy. All right, Jazz Red. <laughs> and I, I, I want you to shut up, Rep. You're making me miss the man. You're making me miss the man. Look at him. They coming down. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, what I got for you. Look at that. He coming right at us. Oh, man, I had one on the ground, but that's all right. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this one. Look what I got for you. Now, for, you know, these are the ones, the skydivers that you've seen, and uh, you can learn how to do that. Look at him. Look at him. Look like he just enjoying himself. He enjoying himself, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Jazz has got to learn how to run this camera with these men. Look at that. All right, he touching down. He touching down. He touching down. He touching down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that, see how easy that is? See how easy that is? Jazz had to hold the camera. Guy had to try to catch him. All right, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh man, I gotta learn how to do that, Jazzeria Pete. Jazzeria talk show. Parking it in. Parking it in. Turning around. Jazz need to learn how to drive one of them bad boys. Uh oh. I gotta tell him I wanna drive. Right. Y'all know Jazz is kind of bad with a camera today for some reason. I usually feel a little better than this, but when they come down, they do come down a little fast. 
Yeah, they come down a little fast, and you got to try to catch them. So I just want my viewers to see this. Look at him. This man here, they say is good and can come on punt. They say he can come on punt. And he's on point, all right. I'm just not on point. Yeah. Jazz Red Talk Show, Red up to get on a plane. Look at them hands. Look at him. Look at him. He's scared. He's scared, y'all. Yeah. He's scared. He's scared. Them little children going to get on the plane, and he up there playing with his finger. We're going to get him when he get in the plane, Jazz Red. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Red up to get on the plane. There he is. Ray up and get on the plane. That joke was playing with his finger, he was scared. Now we gonna laugh at this. But he finna get in. And then uh, we gonna see how this go. We gonna see how this go. That's Ray, he's up. If the lady can get up there in it, then Ray can get up there in that plane. He can get up there in that plane. We gonna check Ray up out. Look at Ray up checking his, his thing out. Oh, Rev with twiddling them fingers. But I guess he said them young kids, he going up front. Rev shotgun in there playing. Oh, come on with it, Rev. Look at Rev. Rev shotgun. He locking in. We're going to get him pulling off. He going to be beating that door to get out. Jazz Rev, peace out. There go the recording. See that? Come on, there, go, there he go, Rev. All right, Rev, we'll spoon you, boy. He's going to put his ear things on. And Red finna go off into the sunset, Jazz Red, peace out. You're giving them the okay. You're giving them the okay. That's one of those fur, he's, he flies, he flies, ladies and gentlemen. Right? They go back over to Red. Red finna fly too. He got the lights on and everything. Look at Red. Actual footage of Brother Nap in the plane, actual footage. All right, ladies and gentlemen. He finna crank it up. All this is very safe, and we get free rides, isn't that something? Go to plane. If you hear plug things on, see his headset? Got his headset on. Look like he asked him what to do. You're scared, Reb, you're trembling. There you go. There go Reb. There go Reb, he waving. Look at Reb waving. Yo, scared self. Jazz Reb. And Reb waving. He's a... There go Reb. There go Reb going up in there. Holla, Reb. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> there go Rev. Rev going up in there. Rev going up in there. Jazz of Red. Jazz of Red talk show. Believe it or not, I am finna go up in a plane. Yeah, I didn't wait till I get 56, almost 57, to go in a plane. So I'm finna go up in a plane. Right here at Tuskegee, right where we met the Tuskegee Airmen, and I'm in, and finna go in a plane. Next time you see me, I'm going to the plane. Peace out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She's going to take her first I got flight. <laughs> so get ready. Oh, yeah, man. This is, is exciting. <laughs> we got two young boys with me now. We going in. Okay. Hey, uh, don't surprise and, and follow up. Here we go. Yeah, just, 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 you know, she, if she don't want it, she know how to take it out. Yeah, I'm going to help up the stairway. <laughs> Put that camera down because it makes it move. That is not how you do TV. Don't move it no more. Just, just zoom in. Because you're making it go up and down. They know that's unprofessional. Don't walk with it. No, he, he, he is good, no. It was off. I'm going to beat you, Rev. <laughs> I'm going to beat you, Rev. I know it's on. I'm whooping Rev and Wimsford. Be, be good. Uh, be good, Jazzy Red. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. She's getting ready to go on her very first flight. I'm going to be co -fi. Look, look at him. Look at him. I ain't going real. <laughs> God, I thank you. God is good.
Okay, passengers are, are onboarding. Uh, we're preparing. We're here at the uh, uh, in Tuskegee. Uh, we had the privilege today to meet uh, one of the uh, Tuskegee Airmen today. Uh, a great man. Uh, wonderful spirit, and uh, we just been having a great time here with uh, our brothers and sisters. So. Uh, right now here, Jazzy uh, Red is boarding uh, the plane. This is her first flight. So, uh, it's beautiful weather out here today. Uh, all the beautiful trees and it's, it's just, it, it, everything is just great. Uh, it's a beautiful place to uh, to bring your family, to visit, to learn about history, American history. Um, it's, just, it's just great. Okay, she's getting into the plane. Got a couple of passengers in the back seat. <laughs> uh, I think she's buckling up. The pilot is getting her all settled in. So can we zoom in a little bit closer? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jazzy Red of the Jazzy Red talk show host. She's waving. Uh, let's see, can we zoom in a little bit more? Get a good shot of her. Amen. Pray for her. This is her very first. I will start the engine and she's getting ready to take off. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. They're on their way. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, they're on their way. Getting ready for takeoff. Going on to the runway. Here we go. Here we go. Jazzy Red taking her fleet first flight. Can you see that? There it is. There it is. Let's see if we follow. Uh -huh. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Jazzy Red. Got brother uh, yes, she made it. Napoleon here. We're gonna let him have words here. She made Jazzy it. Red coming in. Come on, uh, Minister Napoleon. Well, you like I don't to quite have about? too much to say, bitch, because I was getting ready to help Mr. Jazzy Red off the plane. Yeah, yeah. How, how's things been today? Oh, uh, you enjoyed a, yourself. We had a much beautiful day. We didn't plan this. 
It was just all ordained of God. Amen. I didn't expect to enjoy the day like I have today. Amen. I enjoy, especially the Booker T. Washington. Now. There she is waving. I just love it. Jazzy Red. It's a beautiful day here in Chesapeake, yes, it Alabama. Has. God has really blessed me. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm going to go get Jazzy off the plane now. Thank you, man of God. Be blessed. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jazzy Red of the Jazzy Red Talk Show. She's getting ready, unbuckling to come off of the plane. I'm boarding the plane. There she is. You get a good shot of her, of that. Her coming off the plane. Her very first, give her a great big hand clap, ladies and gentlemen. Her very first air flight from Tuskegee, Alabama. Here, the very site where the famous, uh, and we give honor to those, the Tuskegee uh, Airmen. Look, you see, I had to keep my hat on. Amen. There she is. You have to be fashionable when you're driving, dog. All right, Jazzeria. We look kind of young, Bill. We want to dedicate this song to all the struggling moms out there. But it's this, the mom. Yeah. you get 